Hello crafters. I have something to show you. <laughs> this is my granddaughter. And yes, she's a graduate. And I decided to make her a water bottle. You see? And just congratulations 2024. You can put anything you want. You can do a barcode with her cash app. And then you have your nutritional facts. And yeah. And there's a picture. If you want to learn how to make this quick, easy tutorial, um, yeah, keep following. Yeah, everybody drinks water, or at least they should. Looking for a quick graduation gift. There you go. Nice party favors. See you. Come join me. Let's take a look at what we have to do. All water bottles are different. So, depending on your water bottle, you're going to take your tape measure and you're gonna measure around, okay? So this says it's about eight and a quarter around and then you're going to measure it the height. So this is a smaller one. So this one is about one and a half inches. Now this one is a taller water bottle. So I was able to get away with two and a quarter. So I did two and a quarter. By eight and a quarter. And it's gonna be a little overlap. I don't know if you can see this. It's about a little overlap there. So you overlap just a little bit. And that is it. You need a printer, you need a computer. You can download Canva, it's free. And a uh, pair of scissors, some paper, and let's go. I don't know why you wouldn't wanna use this one, but this is good. So come along and join me. Bye now. Okay, let's go ahead and open up your Canva. I'm gonna type in canva.com. Next, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead to the top right with the purple box and click on Create Design. I'm gonna enter my custom setting. Before you start, change the pixels to inches. And I started off with eight inches wide by two inches high but i later changed it to 8.25 by 2.25 that's eight and a quarter by two and a quarter so i'm not actually going to use this but i'm going to go ahead and set it as the background see how it look that actually looked really good so i'm going to use this as a it's sort of like a demo of what I'm going to do. So first, and I'm going to end up erasing all this and I'll show you why. First, I want to go with your logo here and I'm going to go with a picture. So I'm going to go here to elements. I'm going to type in photo frame. And then I'm going to select all, see all. And I'm going to just choose one of these photo frames. And she's more of a portrait size. So I like this one, but we're going to go with this one. And let's just go ahead and stretch that photo frame to the top. Okay. Now this is where I'm going to drop her picture. So I'm going to just go ahead and make sure that's in the middle. But I'll check everything a little later. Now this is going to be your text graphic here. So first I'm going to go to go ahead and go to elements and then I'm going to say congratulations. Just to see what are the, some of the options that I have here. Now I'm going to go and see these are photos, these are videos. We're gonna, so I'm going to click on, gra uh, on graphics. So let's see. Okay, that looks pretty cool.
I'm going to have 2024. What we have for 2024? Since he is going to be graduating in 2024, you can use any one of these. I'm going to use this balloon for, for now. And I'm going to put that right there underneath. Congratulations. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you with the details. I'm just going to uh, fast forward now as I make up my mind of what I want to design. Boy, I'm, I'm looking at all of these. It's so cute. Okay, so once you decide on one that like okay i'm going back to the paper because i just love the paper okay so once you decide on what you like you want to make sure you have everything centered okay so this looks really good so once you're finished with this we're going to do the same as we do all the other projects i'm going to hit share and i'm going to hit download and I always like to do 2.5. I just like the quality to be nice. And I'm going to hit download. And because I didn't give it a name, it came up with this generic name. And that's kind of cool. I actually like that. That's so cute. And, you know, you can play around with it to do more or less. So now I am going to go up to the top. This little magnifying glass. I'm going to click on that and type in Word. W-O-R-D. Enter. And um, let's see. So these are going to be landscape. So it doesn't matter uh, on this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create and keep it landscape. Because the as wide as it, the widest is going to be is going to be... Um, eight and your paper is eight and a half so this will work perfect so i'm going to go into my layout i'm going to change my margin to be all zero my orientation i'm going to keep it at portrait normally i do landscape but i think i can get more in portrait so we're going to keep portrait uh, my sizes of paper size is going to be u.s letter eight and a half by eleven and that's all i need now so i'm going to go down to my finder this little guy down here click on finder and and then it'll come up let me just go ahead and show you go to home go to download and then i go to the top the last thing that i had updated and i'm just going to click on that oops i'm just going to click on that and drag and drop and there you go it's in there so i'm going to drag and drop again drag and drop again drag and drop again and i'm going to go to this here click on one and i'm going to go ahead and position it top middle and then I'm going to position this bottom middle. And then I'm going to position this one. Let's see. Position this one to the middle. Aha. Uh -huh. One disappeared. We got to find that one that disappeared. There you go. So I'm going to just slide that down. And position in the middle. Okay. So what I'm going to do is spread these out equally. So let's go ahead and select all. I can go line to the left, to the center, the middle, however you choose to do it. Distribute horizontal, and that's supposed to um, distribute them perfectly horizontally. But that didn't work, did it? Nope, it didn't work. Because my other page is kind of like hanging off. But one thing you want to make sure, that will make it easier for you when you're cutting to align them all to one side, all to the left, or all to the right. So I just align them all to the left. So that is perfect. We do not need to reverse these because they are not going to be sublimated. If they was going to be using sublimation, then you will reverse them. So we're going to use this on some regular photo paper, and we're going to give it a try and see how it works. So now that you're finished here, let's go ahead and open up the entire screen. We're going to go up here to File, then Print. You're going to choose your printer. I'm going to use my 4760. 
and then I'm going to stroll down I'm gonna get a media and quality and I'm just gonna make sure it's the best because it's gonna be photo glossy paper and I wanted to print the best I actually found this paper at the uh, secondhand store and I was like ooh, good fine I got some paper <laughs> so let's go ahead and hit print and see how that goes now it's gonna remind you that your margins are pretty small and that's okay because that's why we set it to be small because we didn't want anything cutting off so let's go ahead and say yes and we're gonna send it to the printer and here we go to the next step okay here we go so I found this here office depot standard photo paper glossy um, so we're gonna use this and I already print the design so many things so next we're going to go ahead and I forgot my tape for this tutorial, you know, you're going to have to have your printed image. And we are using the Office Depot Standard Photo Glossy Paper. I am going to be using double-sided tape. As well, I'm using this here Cricut Cutting Utensil. I'm going to use that for cutting my documents. And first things first, I'm just going to go ahead and line this up. And as you can see, it's a nice little trim. And I cut there. And I'm going to wait to see how much I have to cut. Let me just wrap it around. And so I am going to need to cut quite a bit off. Well, not so much. So let's just go ahead and just trim a little bit of the white off. Okay. So let's take all these to the side. So it's not to have one water bottle. So here's my water bottle we're going to be working with. And I measured this with to be eight, eight, eight by two and a quarter. Now, you just want to figure out how to get this here. Most of these here papers just glued down. And you could just kind of pull it up. Okay, let's see. I don't know. You don't have to save this. I don't know why I'm tripping trying to get this off. You, you notice it only tape. They only tape this part and this part. And then when you come off, you get that part a little bit sticky. And it's not really there. So, we'll have that as our back piece. Now, you can surely do both. So, you can go over that way. Let's see, so I'm going to go ahead and tape that down. See, when I go there, I'm just going to do a little bit overlay. You can put two pieces there. I kind of went too far over. Just be careful not to go too far over because you don't want it to be too sticky on the top and the bottom. And you just pull this over to the side and you lay it down. And I did it cricket. <laughs> and you lay it down. And there you go, guys. There's your personalized water bottle. Isn't that cute? You can put that cash app or the YouTube or or whatever channel you want to put and then yeah that's it hi guys welcome I am in my studio to record a video uh, for YouTube I am showing you how you can make these cute adorable water bottles that you can put into um, as well um, I don't know what they call them as I finish putting this together by now.